suppose that you have some difficult and distressing habit, like drinking too much. And uh, you're assured that once you've become the victim of this habit, it's an extraordinarily difficult thing to get rid of it, and it requires intense willpower. And so, that kills you right off. You're a dead duck from then on. Yeah. It's as if you see you had said to the devil one morning, look, I'm going to get rid of you. I'm not going to have anything to do with you anymore. So the devil, who is an archangel and is terribly clever, is all set for you. And because he knows that you are getting out of his way, he uh, surrounds you with greater temptations than you ever imagined. If you are going to outwit the devil, it's terribly important that you don't give him any advance notice. The lesson I've learned in life is that letting go of something or someone is the truest form of love. There's a saying that people often use, and it goes like this. If you love someone or something, let it go. And if it was truly meant to be, they will come back to you. Now, while this saying may sound contradictory or even backwards to a lot of people going through these harsh feelings or heavy emotions, it actually is the most important and truthful thing to do. Because if you truly love somebody and you truly care for them, you want the best for them. Sometimes the best for somebody is not being with you. And sometimes the best for you is not being with somebody or not having something. Regardless of how much you love it, regardless of how much it made your life better, sometimes you have to learn that the best thing for both parties is to let go and just detach. So if you're going through anything, just try to let go.
future is a concept. It doesn't exist. As the proverb says, tomorrow never comes. There is no such thing as tomorrow. There never will be. Because time is always now. And that's one of the things we discover when we stop talking to ourselves and stop thinking. We find there is only a present, only an eternal now.